All right, so for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Yellow Jacket uh, Flare Nut Torque Wrench. Now, this is available in two different variations. You can get it in a six-piece set or you can get it in an eight-piece set like you see here. Now, I believe the difference between these two sets is one comes with a 16 and a 29 millimeter head, whereas the other one would just come with the 17 to 27 millimeter head. Um, and this is a old, I would say an, an older style of torque wrench. There's a lot of the manufacturers out there have started making digital torque wrenches where you don't have to really adjust any of any springs or anything. You just set it to the torque that you want and you go ahead and start tightening down the torque wrench. Those are more of a kind of an adjustable wrench style head, uh, whereas these fit specific size, um, flare nuts. Um, so this set, like I said, is the eight piece set comes with all of the heads, all the different size heads. Um, so it starts with 16 and goes all the way up to 29. Now, if you do buy the six piece set and for some reason you want to pick up the 16 and the 29, you can pick them up separately. Um, they do not come with the, um, that, those sets, or maybe if you lose your 16 and your 29, you could pick that, those up as well. Uh, but here's the set you get, um, you get 16, 17, 21, 22, 24, 26, 27, and 29. Uh, the different size heads that lock into the tool. Uh, so this is basically all of the different size flares that you're going to run into on your split systems. Um, 16 and 29 are two sizes you probably will never really run into. Uh, 16 and 17 are pretty much the exact same size, um, with 16 being a little bit tighter of a fit. Uh, but most of the time you're going to be using a 17 on your smaller liquid line on the mini splits. Uh, and then I've typically run into, uh, 22 and a to particularly run into three different sizes when it comes to the larger suction size. Uh, it's been 22, 21, and 24. Um, I haven't really run into 26 or 27 yet. I'm sure that there's some monster mini split units out there that have those giant flares on them. I just haven't run into them yet. Um, so these are, like I said, the nice, they're nice heavy heads. As you can see, it's got, you know, the yellow jacket initials right there, and then it has the, um, the size of the head stamped into the metal. Uh, and this is how it locks into the tool. Um, so those are all the different size heads. I'll go ahead and clear those guys out, and then we'll kind of show you how this um, tool works. So this is more of like a, I call it an old school um, torque wrench, where you have the different adjustable values uh, right here. Uh, and then it also has the inspection number uh, right there uh, to prove uh, if you wanted to look it up to make sure that the tool was calibrated correctly. Uh, so this is the metric side right here. So if you wanted to do it in newton meters, you could... Um, you know, adjust your torque uh, setting in newton meters. Uh, but for most of us here in the States, we're going to be standard. Uh, so you have your foot pounds back here. Uh, and basically what you do is you release this guy right here. Uh, and that allows you to twist and turn uh, to the correct torque setting that you want to get to. Uh, and you, once you are set, you just lock that guy back in place. Um, you just lock it back in place uh, and then you are all set to go uh, and you are all set to go ahead and start torquing down um, your flare nuts on your split systems and then once you're done I've always been told that for tools especially uh, for torque wrenches and or torque screwdrivers you always want to relieve that pressure on the spring or uh, when you're done so you just want to screw that guy back down into position and then you can lock it back so it doesn't have a chance to spin back into position uh, that's as far as it goes right there um, and then this is kind of an interesting uh, design, how it locks into the back of the head right there. So you just take your die or you just take your uh, flare nut and it just locks into the back right there. It is a little bit loose of a connection, um, but, you know, you can't really complain about that. Uh, the one thing that I do like about um, this style of torque wrench versus the digital style with, that has the adjustable head uh, is, one, you don't have to worry about constantly adjusting that head. It's always going to fit the right size uh, flare. Uh, and two is these are a little bit smaller and a little bit uh, slimmer of a profile uh, head. So sometimes you're doing a mini split and it's super hard to get a torque wrench in there to tighten uh, those flares down. Uh, and I find it that this head is able to do it a little bit better than the adjustable size head because those heads on there are fairly large. Um, can be kind of hard to get into some of those tighter spots. Uh, that's just what I found. Um, some people may be different, uh, but that's just me. And then when you want to get that guy that head out of there, you just use the little tool that comes with it. And it is a little bit tricky, um, but you do 
Uh, you just basically you push down uh, on the spring. There's a little uh, spring in there. You push down on, then you're able to pull the head out uh, and change the different size head uh, on the tool. Um, and I believe Yellow Jacket markets this as it is plus or minus uh, two uh, for hitting that torque, um, whereas some of the uh, more the digital ones are a plus or minus four. Um, for hitting your right torque spec, so you can be four pounds lower or four pounds higher. I think that's how it works, or two pounds lower, two pounds higher um, when you hit that torque value uh, for this guy. And now, obviously, when you're tightening down your flare nut, this is going to make a clicking sound um, when you hit the correct um, torque um, on that flare nut. And I believe some of the digital ones out there, I know a lot of guys like the digital ones out there because they either light up and they vibrate. Um, when you've hit that torque spec, uh, so you know that you fit the torque spec. Um, but I decided to go with this guy. That's just me. Um, so overall, this is definitely quite the kit to have. Uh, I like it because it comes with all the different sizes and, uh, you basically have all the size heads, uh, that you would need, um, for flare nuts that you're going to run into and you don't have to, you know, constantly adjust it with, you know, the adjustable wrench style. Uh, and I like that it's a little bit more accurate. Now, is it practical? Um, for me, it is practical. I do find it um, to be very useful. Some other guys may want a digital one just so that they know that they're setting it at the correct torque um, because these can be a little bit tricky. You just have to learn how to use them. You have to make sure, you know, maybe you need um, 13 pounds. Well, you know, 13 pounds is going to be marked down here. So you got to kind of go in between 11 and 8 and you got 14. So you have to be really in between the 11 and the 14. You have to find that spot just correctly. Uh, so there definitely is a little bit more uh, learning when it comes to these old, anal I call them analog uh, torque wrenches, whereas the digital ones, you just, you know, boom, 13 foot pounds of torque and you just start tightening down. Uh, now, the one cool thing about this kit is if you don't know the torque setting for the flare nuts, um, the kit on the case, there is a, you know, a sheet that has all the different sizes and it touch and it has like a recommended, um, torque setting that you can put your flares at. Um, but, uh, you want to use that, um, as least as possible. Now, if you can't find the instructions, you can't find the correct torque, um, that's definitely, you know, the way to go. Um, but if you're looking for the correct torque, um, torque specs for the flare nut, um, you should read the instructions that come with the mini split because, most of the time they're going to tell you what the torque values are for your suction and liquid side uh, and that's what you want to go with you want to make sure you get that correct torque so you're not um, putting too much torque on the flare nut and you're smashing that flare or you don't put enough torque on there and you know your system has a slow leak uh, so with that being said um, that is a nice feature, um, but I always do recommend that you check the manufacturer's instruction um, for the correct torque spec. Um, but that's really about it for this tool. Now, I will leave a link down in the description below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. I personally bought mine used uh, at the time when I was looking to buy a torque wrench. I was going to go with a digital one, uh, but then I saw a review on this guy and decided that I was going to get this guy instead. I decided to buy it used because at the time when I was wanting to buy a torque wrench and needed to use one for work, um, buying one of these newer Yellow Jacket ones or buying a new Yellow Jacket set, um, they were on manufacturer back order at the time and I found a used one. Uh, the guy used it once for a mini split install and that, that's all he used it for. Uh, and, you know, he was just trying to sell it. Uh, so I got it for like $30, $40 less than what a brand new one costs for. Uh, and it was only used uh, once. So that was kind of a plus for me. Uh, and I was able to get it faster than waiting for it to come in stock um, via uh, from the manufacturer. Um, so that's um, one thing that I do like um, about this. Uh, so I did get it for a little bit less than what it should go for. Uh, so definitely, if you're looking for a torque wrench set, pick one of these up. I could highly recommend it. I've used this set quite a few times on a lot of mini splits that I've installed, and it's worked every time. Um, and like I said, the first few times you're going to use it, it's going to be a little tricky. Um, you're going to have to learn how to use it and learn how to dial in the correct torque. Um on the uh on the tool itself but once you learn how to do it you pretty much are ready to rock and roll so that's all i have for this video so if you have any questions comments concerns please feed them down in the comment section below uh that's all i have for this video thanks for watching